Governor Whitmer joined former Vice President Joe Biden and other governors today for a roundtable discussion on the coronavirus. The governor stressed the need for more federal funding in order to get through this pandemic. Our Heather Catalo joins us now with more on this story. Heather. Carolyn, during this discussion, the governors all stressed the need for more funding from Congress so they don't have to make cuts to frontline workers like police and firefighters. We're seeing the soul of America. Yeah. The soul of America is all those people who are just going out and literally many of them risking and losing their lives to carry the rest of us on their back. Former Vice President Joe Biden hosting a virtual roundtable discussion about the coronavirus pandemic with governors from Michigan, New Jersey, and Connecticut. A hot topic, the financial crisis facing state and local leaders as tax revenues plunge and expenses skyrocket. Well, what are the local officials coming to you asking for? What, what, what kind of shape are they in? They're in tough shape. This has already started. Well, it's the essential workforce that is still working. I mean, if you look at our budgets, we're anticipating about a $3 billion shortfall in the current fiscal year. It'll be bigger than that in the next fiscal year. And the places, of course, the biggest parts of our budgets are public health, public safety, and public education, all of which are absolutely critical in a global pandemic. During the discussion, Governor Gretchen Whitmer urged Congress to send states more money and talked about the lessons leaders are learning during the pandemic. I hope we've learned a lot about racial disparities and the agenda for America that really creates opportunity and equity. I hope that we have learned to embrace science. While the governors talked about coronavirus testing and the economic impact, protesters gathered in Lansing again on Thursday, upset about Whitmer's stay-at-home order. Her appearance in the Biden roundtable prompted criticism from the Trump campaign. Governor Whitmer has failed Michiganders in her audition to be Joe Biden's vice president. Her overbearing stay-at-home orders are putting Michiganders at risk by destroying the livelihoods of millions in our state. Now, all the governors in that roundtable discussion today all said that until there's a vaccine for the coronavirus, states will really need to focus on testing in order to reopen their economies. Reporting live, I'm Heather Catalo, 7 Action News. Heather, thank you.